It was a race against the clock for the legislation to be debated in the House of Assembly today. In as little as two months, the Bahamas Institute of Chartered Accountants would have faced another suspension from the International Federation had legislation not been presented to bring them in line with compliance worldwide. It's said to be a crucial piece of legislation as the Bahamas was one of two countries in the world to be suspended from the International Federation in 2012. Although the Bahamas got the green light 18 months ago, Having the new legislation in place is paramount. Financial Services Minister, the Honorable Hope Strawn, called it a red letter day for the accounting sector. Mr. Speaker, there is no doubt in my mind that by this legislation, we are yet again transforming another sector of our economy. I understand that the bill was circulated to BICA and its membership, and their blessing has been obtained. The accounting profession is critical to the sustainable development of our country and this legislation will further enhance our reputation, both here and abroad, as a first-class financial jurisdiction. I have no doubt that we are once again on the right track to build a stronger Bahama. Meanwhile, MP for East Grand Bahama and Deputy Leader for the FNM says he supports the bill, but feels additional legislation is needed to make a comprehensive impact on financial services. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, I call for a Fiscal Responsibility Act, a Whistleblowers Protection Act, Mr. Speaker, which is so very, very important because often individuals from the public feel, have information, but they feel that if they were to reveal it, and this goes across the criminal aspect uh, uh, of, of what we are faced with in this country also, individuals feel that information that they may share uh, will result in some kind of uh, penalty. Accountants tonight are reacting to the bill, calling it an historic time for the industry, and it is something that will propel them to the next level. Darnell Osborne, president of the Bahamas Institute of Chartered Accountants, along with chartered accountants Philip Galanis and Gowan Bo underscored the importance of the legislation, especially as the group faced another suspension. If you have investors coming in and they inquire as to the auditors, the attorneys, whatever, um, they would note that on that, because it's also very public, the, our action plan for, for BICA is on the IFAC mm -hmm. website mm -hmm. and for the world to see that we were not in compliance. So this is going to now be broadened so that it's not only the international firms that are going to be reviewed, but all accounting firms that engage in public practice. I think that's going to be better for the society, better for the business community, and will ensure persons who are engaging accounts to be able to have a confidence level that they are dealing with persons who have been reviewed and who have been sanctioned by the Institute. The biggest challenges that we're going to have going forward is really putting in place a formal process and procedures to ensure that this is not seen as a penalty program, this is seen as a, um, an uplifting program.